Hi everyone, it's Dolly with the Paper Plumeria. I hope you guys are all doing well. Today I have somewhat of a project share and somewhat of a process video for you. I wanted to take some time to show you guys a really cool tool, or at least I think it's a cool tool, that I recently found at Daiso. I wanted to show you guys what this thing does because I'm so excited about it and because it's so easy to use. I think it's a really handy gadget. So um, first let me start before I get into this. I wanted to ask if any of you guys own these types of circle punches. Um, I'm thinking the answer is probably yes if you're a crafter um, because these things are so useful. And I absolutely love them because they're quick to make your little circles or your big circles. And you don't have to run any dies through a die cutting machine and you get your instant die cuts or punched out dies. Uh, anyway, I do think these punches are great for punching out, you know, circles quickly. But sometimes I like to use them to create windows or openings on my cards or envelopes or paper. The thing that frustrates me most about doing that though, is that the punch will only go so far, meaning that the circle is always usually very close to the edge of my paper, like this. Let me give you an example. So here's my paper, here's my card. If I wanted to cut a circle right in the center, it would be impossible for me to do that because there's a stopper. It will only go so far. So regardless, wherever I cut from, it's going to cut maybe, I want to say, a quarter inch from the edge of the paper because this is so short. And because it wasn't made to create windows, it was made to create circles. So if I did that, look how close it is. And my window would be way on top and not where I would want it centered. So that is my only gripe with this, you guys. Um, so anyway, with that being said, I found this thingamajig at Daiso. Um, when I first saw it, my first thought was that it's a protractor, you know, those things that we used to use back in the day to help us measure angles and degrees. I remember having one all through grade school so I took a closer look at it and I noticed it had a blade. What I found out is that it's actually something called a compass cutter. And what it allows you to do is it allows you to cut circles in a variety of sizes and it allows you to cut circles anywhere on your paper. So my first thought was that this is gonna make cutting circular windows and envelopes on paper a breeze. I wanted to show you guys what this thing does and how cool it actually is. So let me bring it closer to the camera. So like I said, it looks a lot like a protractor, but it's got blades. And so this is adjustable. And so if you loosen this, you can move the center circle or the center point, which would be the center point of your circle as far away from the blade to create either a smaller circle or a larger circle. And you might not be able to tell just by me showing you this, but once you see what I'm doing on the paper, you'll understand. So um, it does have what looks like quarter inches and it almost looks like it's, it's smaller than a quarter inch, but it could possibly be. So what I've done is I've pre-cut some envelope templates here. And of course, after I cut the circles, we can fold them up into envelopes so that you can see um, the effect or what I'm trying to get or the end result that I'm trying to get. So let's start with the smaller one. I'm gonna um, use this small template and what I'm gonna do is I wanna cut a smaller circle on the outside of this envelope template so that we can create a window. So I do want a really small circle on this, so I'm gonna put it at three, and then I'm gonna go ahead and tighten it. All right, so I think that's tight enough. So I just need to find the center point of this 
envelope template and you guys I'm gonna take a guess okay it might not be perfectly centered because this is just an example all right I'm gonna say this is my center line so I'm gonna press that center point right down on the paper and then I'm gonna place the blade down and I'm just gonna turn it to create the circle okay and there you go that was so easy you guys you see what I'm saying now I have a centered circle so if I fold my envelope template I'm gonna have a perfect circle in the center and I can go ahead and glue this down to create my envelope so we're gonna try another one before we put this together okay because with this, I can do all kinds of really fun things too. And I'll show you some of the envelopes that I made earlier, but I wanted to show you more before we get into that. So that was my first uh, cut, okay? I wanna show you the different sizes. All right, so let's try a little bit of a larger envelope. And we're gonna use this template. And this is the coin envelope. And so with the coin envelope, once I fold it, it's gonna be longer. Um, vertically okay so instead of centering this let's say I wanted the circle on top no nope. let's say I want this in the middle because I could probably easily do it on top with the punch so we're gonna circle we're gonna center this too and I want the circle a little larger so let's widen this and I'm gonna move this to number five to make a larger circle, okay? All right, so let's try this. And I'm gonna, again, I'm gonna guess the center point of this. And I'm gonna say it's right around here. Okay, so I'm just gonna guess. I wanna say it's here. It might not be perfect. And this might not be the exact center, but again, I'm guessing. All right, so I'm gonna place the point right in the middle and I want to take the blade put it down and turn my paper and there I go now I have a larger circle on my coin envelope and I have a little window on my coin envelope isn't that so cool you guys it was so easy to do so I just think this thing is going to be so much fun to work with and it's going to help a lot in making windows on cards so let's let's do one more and here's a larger more standard size envelope um, and what I want to do with this is this is the front okay so let's say on this one we don't want to do it in the center I'm going to say I want to do this to the very left instead of the center so and I like this size I like this size right here so we're gonna keep that size or should we try a different size let's try a different size sorry about that I want you guys to see what it can do so let's make a larger hole or yeah a larger circle we're gonna do number seven yeah number seven's good and we're not gonna center this one but we're gonna do this to the very left of the envelope all right, so I think this is good. I'm gonna put this down and we're gonna go ahead and turn. There you go. So another perfect circle, a larger perfect circle. <clears throat> and you see how it's to the right? It makes for a really cute window that'll show through anything that you want to show through on this side. All right, so let's do the last one. And what I'd like to do is I wanna make maybe a CD type window because this is about the same 
same size as a CD envelope if you look at it. It's square and um, I like to use the little CD envelopes because I can put so much in them. And with this one, I think it'll be cute because you can actually make a larger window just like the CD envelopes and um, it'll show a lot more of whatever it is that you want to display. So I'm gonna say, let us put this one at 10 maybe, or maybe that's too big. I'm gonna say nine. Again, I'm gonna guess the center of this. This is gonna be a guess. Um, I'm gonna guess around here is about right. Okay, so I'm gonna go ahead and put this down and we're gonna go ahead and put the blade down and start cutting. Sometimes it gets stuck, <clears throat> so you just have to kind of move it around. And I wanna move my things because I feel like this thing has to be able to move freely when you turn it. Okay, see what I mean? You just kind of have to play around with it, but in the end, you do get a really perfect circle. So, there you go. There you go. See, it tends to get stuck if like, um, it's not able to move freely or turn freely, but look at how perfect that circle is, you guys. And again, it looks just like a CD envelope. And once I fold this and glue it together, it's gonna be cuter than a, um, than a CD envelope because I can use decorative paper, just like this one. All right, so I wanna show you an example. Let me put this away before I cut myself. It does come with a cover and I wanna show you guys. So um, when you close this, it comes with a protective cover. I don't know what I did with it. Here it is. So it comes with this plastic cover that you put right here so that you don't cut yourself. Also, I noticed that in the back it says open spare blades. And I was really excited because I was like, that's cool if it has spare blades. But you guys, there were no spare blades inside. So I think you have to order the spare blades separately. So that's the only bad thing. I got really excited and unfortunately it does not come with spare blades. But that's okay because I can search for them online and see if I ever needed more blades, I can just order them online. The thing is I would have this tool. So, all right, so I'm gonna go ahead and put these aside. That is what we've created. And I'm gonna show you guys what you can do once you've created these little windows. Um, here's what I've gone ahead and made, and these are not um, embellished up yet. Um, I was just practicing. I was just seeing what I could do with the little windows. And so if you wanted to, you could create some kind of a, a trifold card like this. Put your little embellishment inside and fold it and this is what you would get. It's like a little window that your um, cute little embellishment shows right through. Here's one, this is a card and so here's an envelope. What you can do is you can create like what we did with this one, the little window in your envelope and your card inside could have the little design or embellishment on it that peeps right through that little window, which is so cute. All right, so here's another thing that I thought was really fun. Making the little window envelopes, you could either put like clear, um, you can put like a little clear window or you can put lace like I did here and use that as your window covering. So that's always fun to put a little bit of lace or fabric or maybe a different design paper that you wanna cover it with. You can do all kinds of things. That's one, let me show you another one. Here's another one and I used white lace on this one if you can tell. That's always fun. And then here's one that I made. It's kind of like a CD case. And I also use the lace to cover this one, if you guys can see it. OK, 
okay that's a larger envelope and then another envelope here and what I've used here is tool I just used this tool to cover the window so um, again you can use like a clear plastic to slide under there if you wanted to um, you could even make this a shaker window if you wanted to Here's another card that I created. Again, these are not embellished up yet. They're just practice cards. And so what I've done is I've taken one of my fabric flowers and it peeps right through the window. This one's a little big, but you can take smaller ones like I did with this one and you can just put them right there. If you wanted to gift somebody with a fabric flower, they can reuse these and take them right off the card. So I thought that was really fun. And then um, you can put other things on here like this one right here is just a wooden uh, veneer pineapple and you can make a card put that on the front and it peeps right through the cute little window just like that so I just have had so much fun using this that I really wanted to share it you guys so um, let me put this let me clean up here really quick um, so, like I was saying, because I think this is such a nifty tool, I wanted to do a small giveaway because I had bought a second one. If you guys are interested in winning this tool, all you have to do is, number one, be 18 years old or over. Number two, be a visible subby to my channel. Number three, like this video. Number four, leave a comment using the word window below in the comment section. Also, I'm going to try to announce the winner on Wednesday, May 11th. And once I call a winner's name, the winner must come forth and claim their prize by Friday, May 13th. If they don't claim their prize by midnight, Friday, May 13th, I am going to have to call a new name to um, and select a winner to win this prize, okay? So anyway, I hope you guys enjoyed this video, and if you did, please give it a thumbs up, please subscribe, and thank you so much for stopping by. Have a wonderful week, everyone. Bye-bye.